Where are you all? In today's lesson, we are going to delve into a significant yet sometimes ignored facet of narcissistic behavior. What happens when you decide not to pursue them after they have left? What would happen if you did not participate in their deceptive games? Have you ever given this any thought? You will be able to observe the narcissist's expression of wrath and frustration when you do not provide them with the attention and approval that they crave. It is expected of you to seek their favor, despite the fact that they have mistreated you. On the other hand, what happens if you do not comply? As a result of your quiet, their shortcomings and fears are exposed, and you are rejecting their attempts to manipulate you. In this lesson, we will investigate the extent to which narcissists are dependent on the responses of others, as well as the distress they feel when things do not go their way. Behind their self-assured exterior, we will reveal the vulnerability and desperation that they are hiding. As we discuss how to negotiate the power battles and mental agony that accompany narcissistic relationships, we invite you to join us with this conversation. It is imperative that we underline the significance of supporting these conversations before we proceed any further. You may contribute to the development of a community that provides individuals who are in need with useful insights by enjoying, sharing, and subscribing to the content. Let's have a conversation about the ways in which narcissism affects relationships, specifically the ways in which narcissists struggle to keep power long after a relationship has ended. In order to maintain their control over the dynamic, they twist time frames and try to avoid being rejected. Having the ability to recognize these behaviors enables us to address situations of this nature with courage and clarity. Not only does having an understanding of narcissistic behaviors help us get insight into the strategies that they employ, but it also protects us from being emotionally manipulated. Join me on this adventure so that we can become more experienced and resilient as we travel together. When other people are dependent on them, narcissists flourish because it strengthens their sense of control and superiority over the situation. They demand regular affirmation in order to bolster their ego, and they anticipate that others will pursue them in order to validate their sense of self-importance. Even unfavorable replies satisfy their need for validation, and if you fail to live up to their expectations, it might cause them to become angry. Because they are unable to exert control over you, and you are no longer meeting their emotional requirements, they experience anguish when you do not offer them the attention that they are looking for. This causes them to feel hurt and vulnerable. They begin to blame you for their discontent, because they begin to assume that your lack of reaction is the source of their dissatisfaction. As far as they are concerned, you are the antagonist, as you are the one who is giving them misery by failing to match their expectations. The way they see things is skewed, yet that is the reality they face. The situation becomes much more baffling when they consider themselves to be the victims. Despite the fact that they have been dishonest, cheated on, devalued, and eventually abandoned you. They feel agony because you no longer put up with the suffering for their sake and because you have stopped putting your own requirements ahead of theirs, as you used to do. Individuals who are not familiar with narcissistic behavior may have difficulty comprehending the thought of narcissists. Those that are narcissistic are completely preoccupied with their own wants, needs, and desires. It is possible that recognizing this can assist you in navigating interactions with them more efficiently and will provide you with insight into their conduct. The use of manipulation is a common strategy employed by narcissists in order to preserve their power and control when confronted with their deficiencies or unfulfilled desires. In order to manipulate reality and cause you to question your own views and feelings, they might employ the technique of gaslighting. They are able to shift blame away from themselves and strengthen their narrative of victimhood through the use of manipulation. Individuals that are self-centered thrive on the love, and acceptance of others. When they are unable to receive the recognition that they believe they are entitled to, they frequently engage in acts that are designed to attract attention. Creating drama, spreading falsehoods, or undermining others in order to promote oneself are all examples of activities that fall under this category. 
People who are narcissistic typically fail to notice the damaging activities that they engage in, despite the fact that they bring harm to relationships. They do an excellent job of defending their behavior and portraying themselves as heroes who are commonly misunderstood. This lack of self-awareness contributes to the continuation of their detrimental behavior, which in turn hinders their capacity to build true connections that are founded on mutual acknowledgement and comprehension. It is common for narcissists to avoid taking responsibility for their actions or reflecting on their actions in the same way that the majority of others do. They are unwilling to acknowledge their mistakes and make corrections, opting instead to place blame on others and avoid taking responsibility for their actions. The fact that they do not engage in self-reflection makes them challenging to deal with because they do not recognize and learn from their errors. In spite of the fact that narcissists may assert that they want to repair relationships, their ability to do so is frequently impeded by their deep-seated resentment and their drive to exact revenge. The cycle of bitterness and indifference that they are experiencing seems to eclipse their attempts at reconciliation on the surface. Because of this emotional turbulence, which is characterized by alternating between brooding over perceived injustices and disguised detachment, actual personal growth and progress are impeded. Narcissists frequently employ deceptive strategies, such as hoovering in order to entice individuals back into their lives or to hasten the process of entering into new relationships in order to obtain validation and recover control. These attempts, however, almost always fail, which results in feelings of frustration and self-pity, which prevents actual closure from occurring. Narcissists are constantly looking for acceptance and attention, and when their ego or sense of superiority is challenged, they become extremely enraged. Criticism or rejection can easily set off this rage, which has deep roots and is quickly aroused. It is possible for them to engage in aggressive or manipulative activities as a result of their scorn for anything that challenges their self-image. There is a connection between this rage and their sense of entitlement, as well as their inflated sense of self-importance. The fact that they do not receive the respect or cooperation that they believe they are entitled to may cause them to respond with tremendous rage, since they may see this as an assault on their sense of superiority. As a result of this sense of privilege, they believe that they are superior to criticism and that they are entitled to special treatment. As a result, it is difficult for them to deal with rejection or criticism without becoming angry or seeking retribution. In a nutshell, when it comes to comprehending narcissistic fury, it is necessary to acknowledge the dynamic relationship that exists between their low self-esteem, their persistent need for praise, and their mistaken sense of privilege. Individuals are able to better manage their encounters with narcissists, establish boundaries to protect themselves from manipulation, and comprehend the insecurities that drive narcissistic behavior when they have a better awareness of these underlying dynamics for themselves. I am grateful that you took part in the conversations that we had. We are thankful for the insightful remarks and meaningful contributions you have provided.